Hey friends, this is the GE 4-in-1 countertop microwave oven. And in today's quick video, I'm gonna show you why you should put this at the top of your list if you're looking for another one of these appliances. Let's jump into it. So first off, GE just makes a really good looking product. As you can see, we have multiple devices now in our kitchen. This is the GE Profile Nugget Ice Maker, a fantastic machine. And this thing looks gorgeous sitting next to it. Now, as you can see, the countertop footprint is fairly large. Again, not huge. We managed to set it here on one of our smaller spaces, but this does pack a lot of power for the space that it takes up. So as you can see, this boasts 1,050 watts of power and it has a large space for most of your cooking needs. This one appliance has four separate functions that really make things nice and easy for your cooking needs. As you can see, we have a conventional oven option. We've got an air fry option, which is incredible. We've got a broil option, and then we have the normal microwave option. Now, the fact that this is an air fryer is incredible. Normally, we have to pull out this guy. This is our standalone air fryer. So if you're unfamiliar with air frying, basically it's a way of crisping up your food, heating it up, giving it a nice crunchy kind of exterior without using oil. It's a healthy alternative, we absolutely love it. And the fact that this can now do both of those, be a microwave and an air fryer, amazing. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of this guy. So obviously we have all sorts of settings and functions that we can use this control pad for. Today I'm just gonna be showing you how to use the normal microwave and the air fryer. The microwave function again is super simple. All we need to do if you wanna express cook is hit the number associated with the minute that it represents. In this case, it'd be two minutes and click on that. You can see that it automatically starts up for us. Now I know it's a little hard to hear on camera, but this actually runs really, really quiet, which is another bonus. Now, if you wanna dial in a very specific number for the microwave, you just need to hit cook time and then we can do something maybe more specific like two minutes and 45 seconds. Again, just hit the start button and you're good to go. Now for the air fry function, you're gonna need these two attachments. They come in the box. Basically this right here is the tall rack. You're able to put all of your food right on top of there. And then this is the crisping pan, which you put underneath so that anything that drops is easy to clean up. Please do not use the microwave function with this in. This is only meant for air frying. So here's a peek of what everything looks like set up inside the microwave. Again, this fits really nicely on that glass rotating tray. And then the crispy pan fits really nicely underneath the rack. Now, again, this only has enough room for one rack area. So it's not gonna be a bulk air fryer, but this is gonna give us plenty of room to do a lot of the air fry cooking that we need. Again, what the air fry function is gonna do is it's gonna pull air in, it's gonna heat that air up really hot, and then it's gonna circulate it around with fans. Again, it doesn't use any of the microwave functions. It's literally just circulating air to crisp things up. Again, much healthier alternative than deep frying something. One of our favorite things to make in the air fryer is actually to heat up chicken strips, these little chicken nuggets, wings. It works really awesome with an air fryer. In fact, a lot of these bags have air fryer instructions right on the packaging now. So as you can see, we need the air fryer to be at 350 degrees. We need to air fry for roughly eight minutes and that's at temperature. So we're gonna add a little bit of time so the air fryer can warm up. Now we're just gonna make a few of these as a snack and a trial to see how it works. One of the things I will say is I wish this rack spacing was a little bit smaller. As you can see, these smaller chicken nuggets have a tendency to wanna to fall through. But again, if you're laying things out nice and neat, it shouldn't be a problem. So we'll go ahead and close that door. We're gonna come over here and hit the air fry function. Now it's asking us for the degrees that we want. And as you can see, each of these buttons has a degree that's associated with it. So we want seven and that's gonna set us at 350 degrees. Now it's gonna ask us for the time we want eight minutes plus, let's give it four minutes to warm up. So I'm gonna do 12 minutes, one, two, zero, zero, and then we can just hit the start button. Now again, this kind of looks like it's working similar to the microwave function, but again, as you can see, it's got that air fryer symbol, so we are safe to have metal inside of the microwave. Again, remember, before you use the microwave function, get both the tall rack and that crisping tray out of there. Now, one of the things the microwave actually does is it tells you when food needs to be turned. If you see this, go ahead and just open up the door. And as you can see, we've got a hot notification. At this point, we'll flip our chicken. And then all we need to do is close the door and go ahead and hit that start button again. Okay, when the air fryer function has counted down and is done, you'll see the end symbol. You will hear the fan continue to go. That's just to cool down the inside of your microwave. All right, there we go, friends. 
These are looking nice and hot, delicious, crispy. I think we are good to go. So there you go, friends. That's a really quick overview and a use case scenario for the GE Appliances countertop microwave oven. Again, four in one capability. It basically has the ability to knock out the need for multiple appliances. We are really stoked about having this in our kitchen. Definitely giving it a huge thumbs up. Hope this video has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because we're making a bunch more of these appliance review videos to make your life just a little bit easier. Stay tuned, we'll see you again on the next one.